issue submitting NIM command from NIM server then choose the second option then the first option after this go to the third option to install the software to the latest level then choose the LPAR or the client machine which are already added to the NIM server so we just need to select the LPAR now from the LPP source option you need to select this media then first uh, we will set the preview option to yes to check if the installation will be complete successfully or it fails so it will give you an idea that all is well or not it will take just one or two minutes to run the preview on the LPAR so the preview is completed and it says ok so we'll go back and uh, set the preview only option to no and then press enter to start the original installation the on the client machine it will take like uh, five to six minutes depending upon the speed and uh, the files uh, that mean server needs to update on the client machine so just wait a little bit NIM servers are pretty handy because they reduce the system administrator's job through the network installation manager we can manage the system pretty easily in the meanwhile our installation or updation completes uh, it says ok and now we need to press F10 to exit from this setup and we will go to the client machine the LPAR and we will type the command OS level space minus s and our TL5 SP6 is updated on the client machine now we will type the command LPP CHK space minus VM3 and it says there are no errors after this we will type the command errpt error pt to check if there are any errors there is a timestamp you need to check if there are any errors and at the end uh, we will restart the client machine which completes our installation on the machine Okay, thanks for watching this video.